Hey, DOT community, bringing you a late Alliance War event rundown. Just wanted to make sure at least I got this one down in the record books for an opportunity to look back at it. Uh, you know, if this Titan ever comes around again, the relics, etc., etc., and also just keep track of all the events. So magnitude has already come and gone. So don't be confused that the event is live. Again, I'm just putting this down for the history books. But I want to go ahead and do my own little take on this event and give you guys an idea of what I kind of saw as a value from this event. What are some things that might have been good, bad, the in-betweens, all that good stuff. So getting a rundown, we did finally see the introduction of an Earth-themed pig, Stone Scar. A little disappointed it wasn't Stone Snout. Might end up calling him that anyways. That's what we've been calling him in the chats just as we made him up in our own. But uh, we see this champion boar come out, a mix of a different breed as it is including X-Skill Goliath buffs as well as Tier 2 and Tier 3 skills. So looking at it, it's just a different combination, the more the current meta of what the Titans kind of are in the game. We also saw the introduction of some new relics, including the Heartstone, and we now also have the Banner of Earth. With that, we also saw a guaranteed uh, skills on some of these relics uh, here, the uh, Goliath Damage, Goliath Critical, Goliath Armor Piercing. Uh, again, some of these relics were kind of nice to know that they... Uh, maybe had specific skills to it or uh, where they might have been along the milestones. I really am a fan of that Hearthstone, but we'll look more at those percentages uh, in some of the test footage that I recorded, uh, giving you an idea of what those max skills look like on those relics. We also continue to see pretty standard uh, buffs as of late. The 1.3s for any four-star Titans, including uh, Yard Dog, including uh, Coldan, including uh, any of basic four-star Earth Titan you had. Uh, we also did get a 1.1 boost for any three-star Ragnar Titans, uh, so you could always shake them out. But I also did my calculations based off of the 1.3 or 13 souls per raid. Uh, looking at this, we had the Crazy 8, so pretty standard percentage boost there. But let me give you a rundown of what we actually had in the event. It's 17,000 soul event. Uh, looking at, uh, let's just assume the 13 souls, you had uh, 1,308 raids you needed to complete without any buffs whatsoever. That would have cost you about 3924 portal stones, right? 3924 for a gem value of 23,544, or actually gem cost, not value. The value I gave this event is only just around double that, which is actually pretty low from what we've seen in the past. Uh, we've got 52,975, and I'll give you a breakdown of what we've got going on there. The other thing that we saw kind of unique to this is this whole Earth Week. It wasn't just the event, but we also had some of these uh, Rockstar Relics, 33% off the Epic Relic Altar that was in there. Uh, we also saw Troop Discounts. So we had, uh, we had a cheaper cost for upgrading your Ragnar Keep. Uh, you had 30% less uh, build time and upgrade speed on that. So you actually had a pretty good opportunity to utilize your Goliaths. They also tested... Goliath speed by boosting it, making them quite a bit quicker, and uh, we'll talk about that maybe in another video or upcoming live stream. But with this, we just saw a bit of a change of pace, literally, uh, to Goliath. They also gave them more damage, as the devs talked about wanting them to kind of be, you know, the forward frontline tanks. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments below what you thought about those adjustments. Uh, this was also the deal that came up with this one here, the cracking deal, 30% uh, off. You got six Earth tokens, 150 Portal Stones, as well as gems. The other thing that was pretty unique about this event is they did give also a free token for everyone that upgraded for the event to complete it. Uh, so I don't really see that all that often. I thought that was a pretty unique take. But let me give you my rundown of the event as we get into it here. In the uh, just over three days that it was, again, 17,000 souls. Going to cost you somewhere around 23,000 and change gems. Again, I valued it at 52,975, and this is how I got there. We've got four tokens available uh, and again, across the different tiers, you'll see them all pop up, and I'll try to holler out when they come up. Valued at 8,000 uh, gems. You've got 150 portal stones. That's 900 gem value right there. We have a pretty low gem count, actually, throughout the milestones. Only three bundles. We had a 75 bundle, a 500 bundle, and a 1500 bundle. That only gave us 2,075 gems. Again, here's the first right there in the uh, purple tier at 150 souls. You had your epic, uh, your earth token, you had your portal stones. Those three right there are probably some of your best values out of this purple tier, especially if you're saving up portal stones or you save up tokens to kind of use them either in the next event or, you know, VP uh, grinding the next go around. 
We also only had one epic token, uh, valued at 8k. We did have 500 divine gems, so that was pretty good. I think a lot of people are getting closer to being able to cap off like their 5,000. Uh, we did have a 3-star and 4-star XP relic, so those are pretty good throughout the milestones. Again, right here in the blue tier, here is the 100 portal stones and the earth token. Again, pretty close to each other. I kind of like when they're like that because uh, kind of makes you want to almost push that extra little bit if you're only maybe going for portal stones or going for tokens, but when they're close together, you kind of want to push to get that next reward. Uh, the relics that are in here, the lower tier ones and the titans, nothing fancy, but those level 10, two star and three star titans, which we only had one of each, um, will at least give you some food. Uh, for relics, we did have two two star relics, uh, two three star relics valued at 1,000 gems a piece, and then we had four four star relics valued at 6k a piece because that's what they would cost to pull guaranteed. And then we only had three Titans, one two-star, one three-star, and one four-star Titan. Uh, again, I think the community is getting pretty comfortable with having multiple four-star Titans throughout an event. So having the one is a little tricky, but again, it's a brand new Titan, so at least he kind of gets the spotlight. As we work our way through the tiers again, talking the bronze tier here, there's your three-star hero soul, 5,000 souls. Again, not a bad relic to go ahead and pick up as you're working your way through the milestone. Uh, of course, the big rewards really come in in the silver tier here, uh, starting out with the four-star Goliath belt. Of course, if you're using Goliaths, uh, it's always a handy relic to have uh, for just kind of buffing them up in general, of course. When talking about this Titan, uh, I do have a video at the end, so stay tuned then. You can actually see him in action against a couple different scenarios. I just kind of threw him on the battlefield, wanted to see what he would do in different situations, and take him up against what I consider the Ragnar's nemesis, which is Panthers. Uh, you know, the poison always kind of seems the speed of them uh, in combination with typically the Ranger. I kind of brought it up against a little bit of a different mix. We'll see how that goes. Uh, taking a look, that Earth token, final one coming in at 12,000 souls. Uh, for some reason, it felt a little late to me to get that fourth token. Uh, let me know your thoughts, but I was thinking that that, uh, that fourth token was pretty late for this event versus maybe having it earlier plus gems later on. I don't know. That's kind of how I was feeling. We do have the epic token here, 13,000. The banner of earth was at 14,000 and stone scar came in at 15,000. So he wasn't even the last milestone. We actually had 350 divine gems and then the Hearthstone came in at 17,000. So yet again, we continue to see the trend that brand new four star relics seem to be at the end of the milestones, uh, which of kind of gives the theme that many people go with almost Dawn of Relics for some of these milestone rather than Dawn of Titans since we're getting them for a cheaper cost. But that Hearthstone, I actually am kind of a fan of it. I, don't, I think it actually is a cool looking relic, not that the artwork really adds any value to it, but I do think it looks pretty cool. Again, I'll highlight some of those relics, uh, especially the Hearthstone, Banner of the Earth, in my video when we get around to that. But let's talk about the alliance rewards that were available. We did see Stone Scar take over the uh, top five ranks. Again, nice to see that happening versus Divine Gems. I personally am a fan of getting the brand new Titan at a second opportunity for those top ranks. Not that I'm in those ranks whatsoever, but if I was pushing that hard to be up in there, uh, it's kind of nice to get that second opportunity to get a potential second build of uh, skills and see which one you almost prefer more. So. Top five walked away with a second Stone Scar because you know they were definitely completing the event. From there, we went to Coldan. Uh, I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I just love him, even though I don't have him. Uh, ever since I started this game, almost two years ago now, Coldan was someone I just wanted right from the get-go. And every event he's ever been in, I've always kind of missed out on it. And that included this one because I ended up going camping and I lost signal more than I thought I would. And I couldn't finish this event whatsoever. We also saw the four-star Titan Soul, second opportunity to get that if you completed it, an epic token there for 101 through 250, and then we saw gems for the rest. So pretty standard arrangement when it comes down to overall what you're working, uh, walking away with. I think the biggest takeaways from this is the value to gem cost isn't as separate or as much of a gap as we typically see it. 23.5 gem cost and a 52.9 gem value we typically in the past have seen actually a pretty better cost to value ratio. So I wasn't thrilled about that, but personally, I am a fan of Stone Scar's artwork and I really wanted this pig. Unfortunately, I missed out on him this time, so I'm hoping to get him uh, on a next opportunity. And 
Uh, you know, worst case scenario, I guess I can always just play around with the test account for a bit and maybe take them out for a stroll during a live stream here or there. But uh, setting up for the live stream, just going to walk you through uh, some of the video uh, that I pull up in just a moment. Um, again, finishing out with uh, the overall value of what you're walking away with. Tokens, some extra portal stones to save on might be the biggest things. The Hearthstone, Banner of Earth are pretty nice relics. And then you could add the next piggy to your collection. And what was really nice is during the live stream when they revealed Stone Scar, they even hinted at an Earth Pig coming soon. So keep an eye out for Babe the Pig in DOT anytime soon. But let's take Stone Scar up against uh, an almost double. Uh, almost, you know, just a little bit. Uh, it's about 440 versus 700. So working at this overall stats, 69% piercing, 70% armor. He's got health and a damage that are up there, but I am going to play around with his relic. He's got some resist, earth, lightning, ice, uh, I like the ices up there because imps can be pretty deadly to the goliaths, but there's one relic on here that uh, I kind of toy with, but I think I'm going to change it, is uh, actually one of the Wukong relics. But the stone scar I got was a goliath health, armor piercing, resist, uh, and uh, again, some armor throughout there. So uh, we'll pull that up and kind of look at it one more time. But the banner of earth here gives you 50% titan earth damage, 50% goliath damage, 30% goliath armor. I've got the earth cask on him. Titan Resist against Earth, Titan Armor, and Goliath Armor, 50, 30, and 30, respectively. Looking at the next one here, we've got the Earth Breaker, 60% Titan Earth damage, 50% gold damage, and 30% Goliath Armor Piercing. And one of, I think, a pretty good ones for uh, mix between Titan. And here's the Hearthstone, the brand new one. 50% Titan Earth damage, 40% Goliath Resist Poison, and 40% Goliath Resist Fire. I think those are two elements that Goliaths could be pretty um, susceptible to, so I like that. And here we've got the Orb of Wealth, Titan and Army Earth Damage, Titan and Army Resist Ice, and Titan and Army Resist Against Lightning. Again, the various percentages there. And then I've got this Mass of the Dragon. I liked it because there was a Titan Health, Titan Armor Piercing, thinking, you know, of course, Stone Scar. But I'm going to switch it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get something a little bit more universal to the entire troops. You know, there's a couple of these, like uh, Wukong ones, that could be good. Armor Critical, and then Army Resist Physical. Gold damage, Titan and Army Earth damage, and Titan and Army resist against Earth. This Jade statue actually might not be a bad option for Stone Scar uh, with uh, the Goliath combination. Uh, we also have a few other options, though. Uh, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to show you the rune. I really wasn't uh, a big fan of putting the Earth rune on um, just because of some of the different skills. I really like this Earth Sight, right? I don't need those three shield spells. I like the Earth Sight. So I'm going to put the Earth Sight on him. That's an uh, existing relic, so nothing new to you guys. Uh, and let's just go ahead and throw him in here. Now, it does change Stone Scar's sca uh, stats a little bit. Uh, Goliath, of course, will change their stats. Got 100% armor, 35% AP, 25% critical, 21-31 damage, and then a mix of different resistances. I like the 40% poison. I'd like to get that higher, uh, but at least it's a start. And then looking at Stone Scar, it does change his health, uh, changes his damage, Gives me a little bit more of a change in armor as well as my resists and, uh, you know, overall what he's working with. Uh, just swapping it out when we took off that other uh, Wukong relic. But let's put him on the battlefield and uh, take a look at what's going on here. Going up against a mix of uh, Imperials and the Grenadiers. Okay with this battle here because, of course, I've got Ice Resist, 96%, but, of course, it caps at 90 So, you know, at least I'm getting the most out of that. And when going up against ice, this, it really isn't too much of a challenge. So let's go ahead and just throw this one into fast forward and let you guys see what happens. Really not bad there, but let's throw him up against something else. Just, just test his limits. 1.2 million defense, level 50 Titan, built for speed. So I'm assuming I'm going to be working up against Panthers here. And this is what I consider the Goliaths, again, nemesis, is poison. But let's see if that poison resist can kind of help me out whatsoever. Plus, with that health damage, can Stone Scar and his Goliaths hold up whatsoever to a cat defense? Again, they've got me beat on level. Level 22, I'm working with, I think, 17, level 17 Goliaths. 
Uh, but let's see if Stone Cigar can kind of earn his right as being a rock hard pig. So check out this battle here again in fast motion for you. So that went a bit as expected with the poison totally rocking the Goliaths, but let's go ahead and pick up a few more. I've kind of depleted. I don't keep troops really stocked up on this account, so I just kind of pick up what I need when I need it. We'll get some more Goliaths and uh, swap out the spells this time. Let's throw some shields in here and let's just see what we can make happen. Now this is where it gets a little tricky is we've got speed, so it's, this is going to be Panthers. Almost equally equipped, I bet, at level 17. Level 50 Titan though, so it's going to have pretty good skills. And this is where I think defenses can get pretty unique is even though the, the numbers can be lower, doesn't always mean it's going to be an easy one. So we've got a level 60 Titan, again, only level 17 troops. Just kind of consider this a nice middle of the road type of battle. Uh, let's again watch and see what happens down to the very end. This one came down to the wire. So here it literally comes down to a couple of cats and a couple of Ragnar duking it out. I honestly thought that was just going to be a loss, but surprisingly those Goliaths pulled out in the end. And uh, this honestly was actually played outside of the Goliath boost and damage boost. So there is no credit to the 50% damage to those Goliaths. But again, they won pretty much by a butt hair when it comes down to that battle and still lost them all. But... Again, just showing you a little bit of what you could potentially do or what you've got to be mindful of not doing with your Stone Scar and your Goliaths on the battlefield. But that is my event rundown for the Magnitude event. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below and stay tuned for more. I'm Gaming Jaeger, and I'm signing out.